is a great one. Texas man gets a $330,000 home for $16. This, this is one of the greatest stories I've ever seen. This guy found a loophole. Um, basically, the guy who owned the house declared bankruptcy. He took off. Then the bank had it. And I, I can't remember. I only watched the video once. There's something about there's this loophole in Texas where if a house is abandoned for a certain period of time, you can file this form. It costs 16 bucks, and you can claim the house. He says he moved in on June 17th after months of research about a Texas law called adverse possession. This is uh, not a normal process, uh, but it's not a process that's not known. It's just not known to everybody. And this is what this guy did, right? It gets better. Everybody on the block is pissed because they paid like three hundred thirty, three hundred fifty thousand dollars for their fucking houses. Houses, sorry. And this guy comes in. He pays sixteen dollars for a house, so it brings the value of their house down. So they want him out of there, not only for that reason, but I'm also guessing because it's a black dude and they're all white. Just, I'm telling you, it's like when I watch this, I'm like, this is the greatest beginning. It's like a pilot episode for the greatest fucking sitcom ever. Like the amount of characters that you could have. It's a fucking TV show. So basically what this guy has to do, he has to stay there for three years. And and the, the people on the – you got to watch this video. The, his neighbors, they're trying to get him for everything. They're like, well, we just think he should pay for his house like everybody else. It's like, you know, what, what sort of a team player are you? Lowry and her neighbors continue to look for legal ways to get him out. Or if he wants the house, buy the house like everyone else had to. Get the money, buy the house. Just because, what, you signed yourself into indentured servitude to these piece of shit bankers? One guy, one guy gets out of it. Doesn't have to become a fucking slave to these assholes, and you can't be happy for him? Because he found a loophole because he did his homework? If you read about it, you could have owned two houses. You could have sold your house and then moved into the other one for 16 bucks. Quit hating on the guy. I think it's the greatest thing ever, considering these bankers took this bailout money. They don't, they don't, not only do they not know where, they don't know where it is. They can't say where it is or who even got it. And they, they're breaking this guy's, that was like a billion, trillion fucking dollars, whatever. This guy, 330 grand? You mad at that guy? He's a fucking genius. You know what I would do if I lived on that block? I would give that guy a fucking... Goddamn, I don't know what I would, make him a bunt cake, whatever the fuck you're supposed to do. I'd welcome him to the neighborhood. I, I, and I'd be like, listen, dude, can you do me a favor? Can you read some more documents? And if you come up with some other shit, I would love, if you can find a loophole that somehow affects my life. Like, you, like this, they're, they're totally overlooking this guy's talent. You know? You know what's funny about that guy, that black dude who moved into that thing? If he was actually on TV screaming about how, I bought a house for $16, half the people on the fucking street would call the 1-800 number and order his goddamn book. You know? And then if it turns out to be a scam, you'll never see the guy again, right? The guy is on your block. He's right there. Go over and learn from him. I don't know. I think it's I I think it's it's the greatest goddamn thing ever. Considering recently I started looking at homes out here, because I've I've had enough. I've just had enough with living over this guy. I'm 43. With the, I'm still living in one bedroom apartments, and I I can't take it anymore. I'm I'm done. I'm ready to get back on the wheel. Okay, Illuminati, you got me. I'm gonna try and find a place. Uh, you know. That I can try and maybe pay off in 27 years, you fucking cunts. Um, 